Well, let's do some review problems. Remember, this is due. You need to turn this in before your test. All right, what is the force between two charges of 3 times 10 to the negative 30, 23 coulombs and 7 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs if they're 0 0.05 meters apart? So let's see, I have Q1 is 3 times 10 to the negative 23rd coulombs. Q2 is 7 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. And the distance between them is 0 0.05 meters. And I'm looking for the force. I know the force is K, Q1, Q2, divided by R squared. So this is 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q1 is 3 times 10 to the negative 23rd. Q2 is 7 times 10 to the negative 7, divided by the distance, which is 0 0.05 squared. Multiply your numerator through, divide by your denominator, and you get 7.56 times 10 to the negative 17, that's the 7, newtons. Now, what's the distance between two charge objects if the force is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons? So I have F is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons. The charges are 5 times 10 to the negative 23rd and 4.2. So these are your charges, Q1 and Q2. So Q1 is 5 times 10 to the negative 23 coulombs. Q2 is 4.2 times 10 to the negative 15 coulombs. I'm looking for the distance. I know F is K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. I know, or ah, we're using D here, so let's use D squared. I know this is a relationship between two charged particles. So I want to get D by itself, so I need to multiply through by D squared. So FB squared is K, Q1, Q squared, Q2. Now I still need D squared by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides through by F. So D squared is K, Q1, Q2, divided by F. Now I need to square root. So D is the square root of, ooh, what a mess that was. Let's see if I can undo that. Of K, Q1, Q2, divide, oh, my pen is acting up, folks. Sorry about that. Divide by F. So this is the square root of K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q1 is 5 times 10 to the negative 23rd times 4.2 times 10 to the negative 15. My pen is just really being strange. I'm sorry. All right. Divided by the force, which is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 2. Multiply your numerator, divide by your denominator, and then square root, and you'll get 1.75 times 10 to the negative 13 newtons. Make sure you can do this for the test. What is the unknown charge if there is a force, F, of 1 times 10 to the negative third newtons on two charges that are 0 0.0004 meters apart? Okay, and the other charge, Q1, is 5 times 10 to the negative 15. Hmm. So F is 1 times 10 to the negative third newtons. D is 0 0.0004 meters. And then Q1 is 5 times 10 to the negative 15 coulombs. You know F is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. Now we need to solve this for Q2. So we're going to multiply the whole thing through by D squared. So F, D squared, has got to equal K, Q1, Q2. I'm still looking for Q2, so I've got to divide through by K, Q1, both sides. So Q2 
is f d squared divided by k q1. Let's come up here. So the second charge has got to equal f is 10 to the negative 3 newtons times d squared, which is 0 0.0004 squared divided by k, which is 9 times 10 to the 9 newton meter squared per kilogram squared, coulomb squared. Q1 is 5 times 10 to the negative 15. Now make sure you multiply the numerator straight across. So what you're going to do is 0 0.0004, and you're going to square that and multiply by 1 times 10 to the negative 3. So you're going to get a numerator of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Now you're going to divide through by your denominator, which is 9 times 10 to the 9. Uh, let's clear that. Made a mistake. 9 times 10 to the 9 times 5 times 10 to the negative 15. And this is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Now divide 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10 by 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5. And you will get 3.56 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Now two charges are separated by a distance d and exert a force f. What new force will exist if <clears throat> the charges are cut in half? Okay, this is kind of fun. Write it out. K, Q1, Q2, divided by d squared. All right. Now if Q1 and Q2 are cut in half, so, all right. You see you wind up with 1 half times 1 half or 1 quarter the original force. All right, what if D is cut in half? Well, do the same thing. F is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. Now, if D is cut in half, you're going to put a half here. But that's got to be squared. So this is going to be your original force times 1 over 1 over 1 fourth. Now, remember in your math, when you divide by a fraction, you invert and multiply. So this is f times 4 over 1, or 4f. All right, sketchy electric fields around the following. Um, a positive charge. Start on positive, end on negative. It's radially outward. Just make it nice and even. Now, this one right here will have the exact same diagram, all right, because it's a positive charge. What about a dipole? Okay, positive, negative. Now, it doesn't matter that these are two coulombs. Start on positive, end on negative. All dipoles should look like this. And give me the shape. Give, on the test, I'll ask you for a particular number. All right. And if I tell you 10, I do mean 10. I will be counting them. What's the magnitude of an electric field where a negative charge of 3 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs experiences a force of 0.09 newtons? All right. Let's see. Q is 3 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. And F is 0 0.09 newtons. And I want E. What's the relationship between F, Q, and E? Well, I know the force is equal to QE. So I need to solve this for E by dividing both sides through by Q. So E is F divided by Q. So it's 0 0.09 newtons divided by 3 um, times 10 to the negative 7. And you know what? My charge is negative. I forgot that it happens. Okay. So this becomes negative 3 times 10 to the 5th newtons per coulomb. If the electric field is 2.1 times 10 to the negative 5 newtons per coulomb, and a charge is 2.3 times 10 to the negative 19, what is the distance the charge is away? Let's see. E is 2.1 times 10 to the negative 5 newtons 
for Coulomb. Q is 2.3 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulombs. And I want to find D. Now, let's see if we can think about this one. I have an electric field and a charge. So I have E and Q. And you know something? I haven't given you quite enough information for this problem, have I? I have E and we have Q, but we don't have the uh, potential, do we? Do you know what? We're just going to have to skip problem seven.